They've been telling you to move your car, to shovel your sidewalks, and now the city wants you to move your can. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is live in Grand Rapids. Joe, explain this one. Yeah, more in a second, Brian, but I want to tell you, we found a neighborhood that is a good example of what they're asking folks to do when it comes to your vehicles. We're on Dale Northeast, and take a look down Dale Street. You see cars out here now, but take a look behind these cars. There's no, none of those big piles of snow you see when the driver has to go around a vehicle. It looks like the residents, for the most part, took their cars off and they knew the plows were coming and then put them back on after the plow left. And as you can see, the, the street is much wider than a lot of streets here in the city. But vehicles aren't the only obstacle these uh, drivers have to deal with. And here's another example. Now, we followed a city uh, driver around the northeast side earlier this week. We watched what they were doing. They had to deal with the sudden snow bands that would drop a couple inches of snow in one particular place in just a matter of uh, a few minutes of time. But not only, again, do they have to drive around those vehicles, those wheeled trash and recyclable containers, those two have been getting in the way. And if you're a person that puts your cart in the street or in the gutter line, chances are it might have got knocked over, it might have got pushed or shoved. We didn't do that on purpose. Uh, we're just trying to clear the roads. Now, Rose says uh, for now, as of this afternoon, all city streets, including the residential streets, have had at least one pass with a plow. And again, it's been very difficult because they get into the, some of these side streets, the snow would start flying again, so they'd have to get out to the main arteries and do them again before they could hit the streets. Now, he also tells me that the crews will be going back over a second time to try to get uh, one more scrape out of these streets, including the residentials. Uh, round two, then what they're calling it is round two, that won't be completed until probably sometime tomorrow afternoon. And again, a lot of this is weather dependent. They're going to be watching the freezing rain as well and may have to deal with that too. So if uh, you're on one of these streets and if you don't, uh, if you haven't been hit with a plow, you haven't been uh, cleaned out enough or you're having other problems, you're asked to call the city's 311 number as well. Right now we're live in Grand Rapids. Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.